I'm Shanae. And I'm Shanice. And, and we're, we're here with your student guide. Today we are talking about roommates. roommates. Picking your roommates. Now let me tell you, you might think, oh, it's okay to just pick your friends, but you really have to think about this because you're going to be living with these people for, you know, nine months to even a year. When you do live with your best friend, you see traits that you didn't see before. Exactly. And because when sometimes you're... that may rub off the wrong way and, mm -hmm. you know, you guys get annoyed by each other mm -hmm. by doing certain things and then that'll potentially taint your relationship and that's something you want to avoid. So although the idea of rooming with your friend is a great idea, uh, it's something that you re should reconsider. And it's all about, uh, you know, broadening her, your horizons. And building because relationships. You may learn, yeah, building relationships because you know, if you choose somebody else, that, that means you are stepping out of your comfort zone and, you know, just willing to explore uh, different avenues. Exactly. And, you know, that could lead into other opportunities as well, because say if your friend, you know, is like if you're a business major and your friend is in media, um, you guys can link up and do different things. Like there's, there's a combination of things that can be done if you go outside of your comfort zone, go outside of your box and reach out to different people because, you know, you never know what's going to happen and they could end up being your best friend afterwards. But yeah, do not room with your best friends. I wouldn't recommend it. Yes, room with someone new.